Ladies and gentlemen, the last snapshot for this year has been released. Here is 20W51A for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17, the Caves and Cliffs update. This one brings you the Axolotl, new changes to skulk sensors and frequencies, as well as a new multiplayer sleeping game rule. My name is Slice Slime, I'm here to guide you through all the changes in this version. Starting, of course, with that cute new predator, the Axolotl. The mobs themselves have been added in this version, you can find spawn eggs with them in the creative inventory and you can of course summon them using this slash summon command. However, they do not spawn in the world yet. There are five different varieties of axolotl. There are four common ones and one rare one. They are amphibious creatures, meaning that they can move both in water and also onto land. However, they are an aquatic creature. They belong in water, and if they stay out of water too long, more than five minutes, they will start drying out and take damage. This effect is cancelled by any type of water, including rain. Moving around on land is also harder for an axolotl, causing it to sometimes need to take a rest. Axolotls are hunters. They will chase after squids and other type of fish. They currently love tropical fish, although do note that that might change. Tropical fish or tropical fish buckets can be used to tempt them and to mate them. To mate them, as with other animals, use the mating item on the mob. While you're holding a tropical fish or a tropical fish bucket in either hand, axolotls around you will swim with you. They will also help you attack drowned or guardians. If you kill a mob that the axolotl was either attacking or being attacked by, the axolotl will give you a buff. That buff clears all mining fatigue effects from you and gives you a temporary health regeneration. Like fish, you can pick up an axolotl in a water bucket and then place it back wherever you like. Just like fish, axolotls picked up and placed back this way will never despawn. Sometimes when an axolotl takes damage, it will pretend to be dead which causes other mobs to stop attacking it. Let's move on to changes with skulk sensors. One vibration type has been removed, that is the event of beginning to eat. Note that finishing eating is still around. Some events have changed frequencies as well, you can see all the new frequencies on the screen. The changes are that projectiles landing are now in frequency 8, they used to be 9. Closing containers are now in 14, used to be 10. And opening containers are now in 15, used to be 11. Skulk sensors now also become silent when waterlogged. In addition to this, a bunch of fixes have been done to the wool occlusion, where walking on wool and throwing out wool items no longer cause any vibrations. Some changes to gameplay. Bundles and shulker boxes in item form will now drop their contained items when they are destroyed. That means, for instance, that throwing a bundle or a shulker box with netherite items inside into lava will cause the netherite items to pop out and survive. And a number of desync fixes have been done to candles and cakes, including a problem where putting candles on cakes would duplicate the item. A visual change in this version. When a crossbow is loaded and in the offhand, you can now properly see it even when holding an item in your main hand. And user interface fixes. The bundle fullness is now displayed as just the item count without the fullness text and the bundle inventory preview is no longer off-center inside of the tooltip box. Let's move on to sounds, and of course, sounds for axolotls. They have two types of chirping for idling in water and idling on land. They also have sounds for splashing, for attacking, for being hurt, and for dying. There's also a new sound for picking up an axolotl in a bucket, with the subtitle Axolotl Scooped. Let's talk about game rules. There's a new game rule in this version, it is called Player's Sleeping Percentage. The default value for this is 100, and it sets the percentage of the players that needs to sleep to skip the night. Setting this to zero means one player is always sufficient to skip the night. Setting it above 100% will mean that skipping the night is not available at all. If you try to sleep when the setting is above 100%, then an error message will show up in the action bar. Otherwise, when any player enters a bed, a status will show how many players remain to skip the night. Tag changes. New entity tags in this version. 
two axolotl related tags have been added. They are axolotl always hostile and axolotl tempted hostiles. The types in the always hostile tag will always be attacked by axolotls and the entity types in the tempted hostiles will only be attacked when a player is around with the tempting items. Speaking of the tempting items, there are new item tags as well, one of them being axolotl tempt items, which contains all of the items that can be used to tempt an axolotl. There's also a new skulk related tag that is the occludes vibration signals tag. This was already available in block tag form, but now also exists in item tag form. News for resource packs, the bundle user interface now has its own texture file. If you want to override the user interface for the bundle, you will now also need to add that file to your pack. And finally, for performance and stability, a fix for the game stalling when any message is displayed in chat while playing with an expired session from the launcher. Even with that fix, keep in mind that this is a testing version and is inherently less stable. In addition to that, any world that you open in this version can never be safely downgraded to a previous version again. So if you try this version, do so on a backup of your world or on a separate test world. If you want to get this version but you don't know how to, then click on the link in the iCard of the video or in the video description. That'll take you to a tutorial video about how to get and play a Minecraft snapshot. And that was all I had for you this time. I hope you found this comprehensive guide useful, and if you did, please help me out in return, leave a like and share it to a friend. If you want to stay on top of all of the changes for Minecraft Java Edition, then please subscribe to this channel. I make update videos for every new snapshot, pre-release, release candidate or full release. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when the new videos are done. My name is Slice Slime, thank you for watching, I wish you happy holidays and a great new year, and I'll see you next time.